everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I have a testing out pre-market makeup video. I've literally just finished filming this entirely. And what do you guys say? Do you think I like it? Do you think I don't like it? I've seen this video going around quite a lot recently and I thought I would give it a try because Primark's makeup selection has really gotten better over the years. Like I remember they just started coming out with like liquid lipsticks and now they have like an array of everything. Like they have a collection of brushes. Like, even skincare they have like skincare products as well which is amazing. Like they have like a full section of beauty products which is like uh. but in today's video I have gathered a few little bits together and created this look for you guys if you want to see and hear my opinions on these products that I use to create this makeup look then just keep watching okay so I'm gonna start off with my brows first of all and I have this brow pencil which literally only costs one pound I got it the shade dark brown but I'm literally not sure if this is gonna actually match my eyebrows or not but let's see I'm so sorry if I spend most of this video like trying to open things first of all I will say that the product does come with a little spoolie, obviously, which is like handy to brush through your eyebrows. And then whenever I open the pencil, it's been sort of like dented in the top. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'll do a wee swatch in my hand of the pencil. It seems very creamy and that's the colour of it. I'm really scared to use this because I feel like it's going to be so dark. And I want the makeup look to actually look good. So instead of me actually using this pencil and like ruining my whole eyebrows, I totally got the wrong shade and I feel like it would be far too creamer for my eyebrows anyway because it is like so, like look at this guys, like if I literally touch my eyebrow, that's what would happen. It would literally just blend away on my face. So what I'm going to do is just do my eyebrows with another affordable product which is not from Primark but it's the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows like this how I normally would and then I will come back and go back to using the Primark makeup but I'm... I'll try and even use this spoolie off it to blend this product at the front of my brows. So what I'm going to do now is take the um, PSI's D, <laughs> I'm so stupid, it says D slash end smoky brush and I was like D end and I was like what the hell does that mean but obviously it means double ended smoky brush because it has like both sides and this was only £1.50 for this wee brush. I feel like Primark brushes are just like such a staple like they're so affordable and they work pretty decently like they do apply your makeup okay. So I have had some in the past before and they've worked perfectly. So what I'm going to do is take this brush and use it to carve out my eyeshadow and then I feel like this wee brush would also be good for like cut creases and stuff because it's quite thin and things like that and then that would be good for like inner corner or highlight or like highlighting the brow bone and things. I have a few options here of products that I can possibly use to carve up my eyebrows. So I have the foundation that I picked up which was 250 and I got this in the shade Nude. I also got a darker shade just in case it's a bit too pale for me but I can possibly use this to carve up my brows and then I also got an actual concealer but the only reason it's put me off this is that I feel like it's gonna be a little bit too dark because there was like no light shades left. In fact there was light shades but they were all completely opened and I was like no I'm not using like opened makeup but this is in the shade Cool Sand and it's one of those like lipstick concealers which I don't know I feel like these just remind me of whenever whenever I was younger and they just were so like greasy and like tough on the skin like really pulley and draggy so I have that and then I also have the PS contour kit which has like a highlighting shade which is like a yellowy color so I don't know what to do I feel like I'm going to use the palest one and I feel the palest one will be the foundation but I am going to make my foundation a little bit darker so I'm going to use this to like highlight and carve out my brows as a concealer so hopefully it works okay. But I'm going to try this and carve out my brows with this foundation. So the colour isn't actually too bad. It feels like a really hydrating foundation but I feel like it is going to have a slight glow to it. It actually says on the little tube that it's a medium coverage semi matte finish. But to me it looks like, unless it dries down, I feel like it's going to have a bit of like a dew to it. This brush is literally working perfectly for this no problem at all with this wee brush. So now that I've carved out like the top section of my eyebrow I'm gonna do the bottom part as well and then I'm also just gonna put some on my actual eyelid as well as like an eyeshadow base. You get 35 mils which is like pretty good for a foundation like the whole tube is completely filled with product but it's actually done a perfect job like it isn't obviously my favourite like look that I've done with my eyebrows and like carving them out but it's totally did the job like there's nothing wrong with it. And one thing that I always notice with like cheaper and expensive makeup like, I feel like it oxidizes a lot but this one hasn't seemed to oxidize that much. So I also got this brush which is the PS Finish Sculpt and Glow to define and highlight brush but I'm going to use this or this side even just to sort of pat out this concealer. Oh my gosh where's my scissors? Um, first impressions I feel like that will actually be so good for blending like cream contour because it's like a thin shape. And this one, obviously, I feel like will be quite good for what I'm just about to use it for. Okay, so it actually does have sort of like a matte finish. It sort of dries down. Doesn't it? It has got slightly darker, I would say, actually. Hmm. 
like the hair looks lighter than this side because I did that one first but the same brush is blending this side absolutely fine oh and also guys I also picked up I didn't see any brow gels but I did see a brown mascara and I remember years ago I used to use like brown mascaras as like an eyebrow gel but now I don't really as much but I feel like because there was no brow gels I just picked this up to see what it would be like for like setting my brows and to add in like a little bit more coverage in them okay so I literally just took off the plastic here and the lid came off with it so this was only one pound as well so like obviously it's so inexpensive i'm gonna use this to comb through my brow again it's doing the job it's sort of like taming my hairs over to like one angle which is what i want okay so now i'm gonna focus on my base i think okay so first of all i have this which is the ps instagirl hashtag no filter priming oil and this is probably one of the more expensive products that i have so i was actually looking at the ingredients on this and i was like holy crap all of these ingredients are like amazing for your skin you have like jojoba oil um apricot oil sunflower oil argan oil like really really good oils for your skin so i thought i would try it out so it was slightly more expensive but to be honest with primer oils and things like that because they are oily literally only the tiniest bit and you get and um, 20 mils in it so it's like 10 15 mils less in the foundation but like again oils you don't really need that much of them it has a little pipette and all like the packaging i would have more normal skin but then it would kind of like lean towards dry as well so that's why i feel like oils are pretty good in my skin so i want to just do little drops on my skin oh my gosh it smells oh my god it's running into my eyebrow oh no so it does not smell good i thought because it has such awesome ingredients in it it would have smelled pretty good but oh it actually smells like you know whenever you get like you've had perfumes for years and they get that really weird perfumey scent but like it's out of date sort of smells like that and oh my god this is ran right through my eyebrow i'm going to use a sweet brush just to buff it in as well the feeling of it on my skin feels awesome like it feels really hydrating and it's really like oily you know the way sometimes you get like oil products and they don't even leave like an oil on your skin like they sort of just seep in and like dry in this has left a really nice like hydrating layer on my skin i'll put some on my lips as well I sort of just fucked up my eyebrow there, like took most of the product off, but hopefully you guys can see, but my skin looks like really shiny and stuff, and obviously it's the oil, but it feels really good in my skin, like it doesn't feel bad, but the smell of it just smells really weird. If you're in Primark, smell this, and you'll understand what I mean, like it smells weird AF. I can't really say much about the primer oil as for now, like it doesn't really feel sticky, so I feel like it's not really gonna do much at like making my foundation last longer, but I feel like a little product like this is so handy to have in your collection because for more drier skin people, it's good for adding extra hydration. And then if you have like a thicker foundation, wanna thin it out and make the coverage less, less like full coverage, you can obviously mix an oil in with it to like dilute it a wee bit. So I feel like having an oil in your collection is quite beneficial. For now, I can't really say how much I like it because I'm only doing my makeup now, so I can't really say, but I'll be able to tell you if my makeup goes on smoothly with it. My skin does feel nice and smooth and hydrated with it so far. I also have these products here which I got. These are the strobing face and body highlighting creams. I'm going to use this one today which is in the shade. Hmm. Does it even have a shade? But it's the more like pinky bronzy sort of one. The other one's more like a white. But I'm going to put a bit of this on today. I'm like going to be so hydrated and glowy. Gosh I put on a lot. Right, I'm gonna rub this in my hands and use my wee brush to blend it in. You know what it feels like? Do you ever have a facial and you come out of the place and your face just feels so nourished and hydrated and you're just like glowy? That's what my skin actually feels like. I feel like that oil has made my skin look awesome. Like it's really, really nice. So now that I have my primer and my skin completely prepped, I'm gonna take the foundation. So I did get the My Perfect Color foundations in two shades. This is a medium coverage foundation, semi-matte finish with vitamin E. I got the shade Caramel, which is the darker one. And then I also got the shade Nude, which is the paler one. So I'm gonna do like a little swatch of the first one, which is Nude, on my skin first to see what it's like. This is the one that I used for my concealer on my brows so i feel like i am i'm actually going to take some of this on the back of my hand i'm going to take the majority of this nude shade but then just add like a little tiny dot of the other shade just to sort of darken it up a wee bit it does have a weird smell but now that i have that primer oil on everything sort of just smells like that that's the consistency of it it's quite thick but it is starting to trickle down as you can see so to blend this out i'm going to use that same wee brush that i have because i didn't get many brushes there wasn't that many left to be honest like there was loads of those like do you know those brushes that look like toothbrushes they're like the buffy ones there was loads of them but i was like I don't, i'm not really a fan of those brushes anyway so i was like there's no point getting them just for the video so i actually got like brushes that i would genuinely use as well so with this i'm just going to take this brush and just start patting it in and the coverage is actually pretty strong on this like i thought with like cheaper foundations the foundation was like 250 for that mine so from patting it in i feel like you get the most coverage because you're like you're not moving the foundation about that much i'm gonna have to drag it onto my neck a bit because it's slightly dark okay so on my head I have like some freckles and stuff 
and it's covered them pretty well. And as you can see, I did have like a big pimple here on my chin and it's covered it really well as well. So I feel like today is such a good day to do this video because you can actually see like how well the coverage is. Like that was really red and it's completely covered. Hopefully you can see, and it's definitely not a matte finish. It doesn't have a matte finish, I wouldn't say. Like it definitely doesn't have a matte finish. It looks pretty oily to be honest. But personally, I don't mind looking oily. Like I like looking really high good and dewy. Like I would prefer to have like a really oily looking face and like a really flat matte looking face. So to make use of this little concealer that I have, this was only 90p, like 90p for a concealer, what the hell. This is the My Perfect Colour Concealer Stick, full coverage and natural finish. So let's see how this works. What I'm going to do with this, I'm not sure, oh my gosh, it's actually lighter than I thought. It looks a lot darker in the little tube, but then whenever you actually swatch it, it sort of lightens up a wee bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this under my eyes. I'm just going to risk it and see. This could make literally just ruin this whole foundation, but let's see what happens. Okay, so, oh my gosh. I remember these. Oh my god, it smells like the Makeup Studio cream foundation. Do you know the Makeup Studio foundations and then like little pots? It smells exactly like those. I remember these sort of concealer sticks being really like tough and draggy on the skin. As you can see, this is just gliding on really well. Oh my god, I'm literally just tapping my brush there and that's completely blended out. Okay, so just tap my brush back and forth. Guys, that's blended out so nicely. I would say my skin is like hitting it's like not really 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 full coverage but i would say like my skin is covered like my blemishes are covered my dark circles are covered and it looks so healthy and glowy because it's not like really flat like i still have a nice dew to everything wow oh my gosh okay so what i'm going to use now is the ps instagirl banana powder this is a loose powder to set makeup and even complexion for all skin tones this was four pounds for this whole big tub this really reminded me of the ben nye banana powder or the cameo powder it's in the same sort of pot and makeup revolution have powders in this wee pot so of as well so i feel like they must all use the same manufacturer to supply the packaging because makeup revolution have this we see in bottle um obviously primark and i but it does the job it's handy and it stores a lot of product so okay so it's like a yellowy color my main concern it looks a lot lighter in camera than it does in person my main concern is got to be a little bit too dark and like deepen down my concealer but hopefully not i also got this big brush here this is the ps pro this was a little bit more expensive because it is from the pro range um it's the ps pro high definition results powder brush this seems awesome like it's a really big thick powder brush it's not too dense so this is the ps pro high definition powder brush and this was 350 because it is part of the pro range there doesn't seem to be any hair shedding out of it it's very soft it's massive like it is pretty big but what i'm going to do is take this powder first of all and set my entire face like the highlighted areas and stuff so i've got some on the brush here and i'm going to use this okay so it has like instantly modified so i'm going to just take some and press it on my skin because i have like a tiny face this brush literally does my face in like two seconds okay so there's like a little hairs came off with that powder it doesn't really cake you at all but i feel like if i was to, like it's really 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 modified so fast so i feel like if i was to totally bake with it it would completely like lock in all the moisture and look very dry but by just taking it quite sparingly on a big brush has totally set under my eyes and everywhere else and it looks pretty good okay so for my bronzer today i actually got the my perfect color mattifying powder there was no bronzers available so i just got a powder in a darker shade in the shade caramel and this was only two pounds i'm sorry about the packaging because i have been using it as a mirror throughout this video but that's the shade of it there. Uh, I'll do a wee swatch and show you guys. Oh my gosh, it seems very pigmented. That's like one wee stroke. That's two built up. So what I'm gonna do is use this on my big fluffy brush and just completely sort of bronze just all around my skin. I feel like I'm gonna take the tiniest bit because I don't want to go up with like a big burst of colour. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. It's definitely not one of my favorite bronzers. I'm not too sure on the color of it. And because it is really mattifying, it looks a little bit like dirty on the skin. But this side looks pretty okay, like it looks fine. But then I don't know if you can see on this side, there's like a big white patch right here. I don't know what that could be. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is my highlighter and I have two products here that I really wanna use. I know I've talked about my Primark highlighting kit in like so many different videos. It comes with like the two gold shades and like the pinky shade and the white shade. But I've used that so much and I wanna try it so I wanna try out something different in today's video. So I picked up the PHR Hydrate Hydrating Highlighting Stick and this was four pounds, but like for four pounds you can literally get so much product. 
Like, it's like a big chunky stick in here with like highlighting product. And I actually did like a little sneak peek on my Instagram story of this like swatch and it looked insane. Like it looked amazing. And then Primark have also come out with new single sort of highlighters. I picked up this one the other day so this isn't a recent purchase but I have already tried it and I just want to show you guys how insane it looks on skin. It's the highlighting powder in the shade. I'm not sure if it actually has a shade but it's the more like pinky corally shade. It sort of reminds, you know what it sort of looks like? Slightly, it sort of looks like Champion Pop from Becca. Only it's a little bit more peachy, but like the undertone, it has that nice golden peachy pinky undertone, which is amazing, I just love it. So what I'm gonna do here is take this end of this brush here and use the highlighting stick as like a base so to make my highlighting powder like more intense. So this is in the shade Glow, by the way. It's such like a huge, big, big stick. I'll do a swatch on my arm to show you what it looks like. Can you see that right there? So what I'm gonna do is place this down here as a base. Okay, so on the skin, it actually looks a little bit more natural than what I expected, but it's de it's so pretty. Like I I don't I don't not like it, but it's a little bit more subtle compared to what I would normally go for. But it's applied really nicely. It's blended really nicely. It hasn't removed any of the foundation. Hopefully you guys can see like. Compared to this side, there's like no glow here. And this side, you have like a slight highlight. But I feel like for everyday use and things like that, like this product would be perfect for that. Because it is a cream product, it added like a little bit of tack so that whenever I apply my other powder highlight, it'll really like beam and glow. I feel like if this had a MAC logo on it, people would still buy it and like it. But because it's from Primark, people will probably be like, mm, that's probably not that good. But I feel like if it had like a well-established makeup brand logo on it, people would still properly use it. Like it's doing the job fine, like I like how it looks. Okay then, so for my actual highlighter today, I'm gonna to be taking the Primark Double Dimension Highlighting Powder. I love the packaging of this as well. And I think this is only like 250 or two pounds or something like that. Really affordable. I'm not sure what brush to use because I only got a couple of brushes, so I might use one of my own brushes to apply this, two seconds. So I'm just gonna take a little paint brush all of my, my actual brushes are up in the bathroom soaking wet right now because I've just washed them. So that's why I'm using this one. But I love my sassy brushes, highlighting brushes too. But this one is just as good. It's the Graduate Dollar and Rani Oval Brush. It's actually a paintbrush. So hopefully you guys can see. Right, let me get my mirror. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. Ready? Like, see, to be honest, it's not a really wearable highlighter. Like, it looks like a nice peachy highlighter. It looks like champagne pop whenever you look at it. But then whenever you apply it, it completely transforms. It has, like, a yellow lime green undertone. Like, I would wear it. Like, I would totally wear this. Like, I, I have wore it out in public. Like, on my nose, this one has, like, a wee green cast to it. But I like it. Like, I literally, I like it. I'm just gonna highlight everywhere. Okay, so now onto the eyeshadow. I have got a couple of eyeshadows. I wanted to try like different different kinds of eyeshadow. Like they have some eyeshadow palettes, some single shadows, some custom shadows. So I picked up a few of the like custom inserts because you can make your own little palette. And then I also got just some of their normal single shadows. Their shadows that came in like the little packagings are 90p each, these ones. And the ones that just come as like a pan form that you can put into your own palette were 60p, which is amazing. I did get just like plain colors because I just wanted to do like a simple look just to try out like colors that I would normally go for because I didn't want to go for like absurd colors and then them not like being great but then they're like neutral colors being like really good and then we miss like that so I thought I would just buy like the neutral colors that people would genuinely go for. I got this shade here which really really I was impressed by the color whenever I first seen this because this is colors that I use a lot on myself and my clients. It's sort of like a salmon-y peachy sort of shade. It's like a transition color. It's pretty good. Like there's good pigment there. There's a lot of pigment there. So I'm going to top off my brush just a wee bit because I don't want like a big burst of color. So pretty much with this I'm just going to run this through my crease as my transition shade. Transferring onto my skin perfectly like there's nothing wrong with it um whenever you blend you sort of do sort of lose a little bit of pigmentation but that's expected with like most eyeshadows you sort of need to build them up that's perfect like that has worked perfectly for 60p oh my gosh like imagine they were literally like i'm actually gonna get more of these and make like a little palette and see how it goes because you could obviously make a really affordable palette so i've just sort of built this around my eyes here for my transition and then also left it on my lower lash line just because i like to have really smoky eyes especially with colors like this okay so now that i have that applied i didn't really get like a mid-tone brown or anything 
Like I just got this really intense dark brown, which hasn't actually got a shade name, I don't think. It's just like a really dark brown granite sort of color. And then I also got one of the other custom eyeshadows, which is like a gold color for the lid. And then I also got like a whitey, pinky, and it sort of looks like a white, but then has like a pink undertone to it for the inner corner. But I might actually use the highlighter that I use in my skin for my inner corner. So what I'm gonna do first is open this little custom eyeshadow, and this one is in the shade Gold Digger. These custom ones have names on them, but the name's only on like the paper part. So if you if you lose the paper part, then you'll not be able to identify like names, but. Like they just come in little like max single shadows come with this like in a little pouch like it just shows you how cheap it actually is for Primark to make these things like obviously they're obviously making these for so cheap and then obviously getting the profit from it but only selling it for 60p so think how cheap they're getting these made for and like oh my god wow first swatch look how intense that is I'll just wash my hand Oh my gosh, that would be insane as a highlighter as well. Well, what I'm going to do is take that little thin brush that I had here and use this and sort of just put it like on my lid. Things like that. It sort of has like a real, it's like a really powdery eyeshadow but because it is so powdery, it's like very pigmented. What I'm going to do is just put this on my crease. So what I'm going to do with this is just sort of place it and put it on my eyelid. I thought this is going to be a really, really simple eye look, guys, but I didn't want to do nothing too intense. I'm sort of just cutting the crease with this as well. And because I had concealer still on this brush from whenever I carved out my eyebrows, it sort of turned it into like a creamy eyeshadow. So what I'm going to do now is take the darker shade on a little pencil brush and run this on the outer corner of my lower lash line. I think I'm going to put this because I don't want to add like too much drama. So I'm going to just take some on the outer corner of my lower lash line. What I'm going to do is just take my brush with that peachy colour on it and just sort of blend it out. Okay, so now that that's done, what I'm going to do is take some eyelashes. I got the Primark Full Look False Eyelashes that has glue included. So I'm not sure whether to use the actual glue that it comes with or my geo glue. But you can get geo glue in Primark now, which I was so surprised at. I think I'm going to try the glue that it actually comes with. So these are really, really natural lashes. Um, they're sort of like spaced out, but they're not really my style of lashes that I would particularly normally go for because they're the same length the whole way around. Like each hair has just been like chopped, whereas I like them quite like spiky and like fluff at the ends. But I'm obviously going to give them a go and see what they look like for, because for a pound, like if these look good, like these would be such affordable lashes to wear on like an everyday basis. So, okay, so I'm going to take these and just stick them down. I have more this natural of eyelashes in like forever. Okay, so I have the lashes like sort of applied, but like the inner corner section keeps coming off. So directly just gonna put the glue on top of the eyelash. So hopefully it dries clear. Okay, so I just wanna say I love, 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 love Primark's lip liners and like their liquid, liquid lipsticks. I think they're perfect. For the price, the lip liners are like one pound and their liquid lipsticks can be like two to three pounds. They all work amazingly for the price. Like they're awesome. Like the lip liners, I would say, are just as good as MAC lip liners. Like I would use them over my MAC ones. Like I love them that much, especially like the nude colors are gorgeous. But I have a lip kit here that I've had for a while in my collection that I've never tried. So I'm actually going to use this today. It's like a dark brown colour. So let's see what it's like. And I feel like with a dark shade, like I know I already love like the nude liquid lipsticks and nude lip liners. But I've never tried something really dark from Primark before. And these are like their lip kits. This is only £3 and it comes with a liquid lipstick and also a liner. So I'm going to line my lips first of all with this. So this little kit is in the shade Chocolate Brownie. So it's like a dark chocolate shade. Okay, so thoughts on the lip liner. It worked perfectly. Did the job perfect. Colour is nice. It's not patchy. It wasn't really thick and hard to apply. Like it was perfect, nice and smooth. So now I'm going to move on to the liquid lipstick. So this is what the packaging looks like. The packaging is nicer whenever you buy things individually. Whenever things are like sort of grouped together in kits. I feel like the package is a little bit cheaper. So let's see how well, oh my gosh. Okay, so as I'm putting this in and out, like there's a little liquid like spitting out of me right now. But I'm gonna give it a shake, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that, but like all around the handle is like soaking. I'm gonna give it a shake just to make sure like, I've only had this a few months in my collection. Like it's not like I've had it sitting for like years and it's expired or something. My eyelashes stuck down okay. Okay, this one's hard to lift. It has a weird smell. It's like trying to be nice, but they've got it completely wrong in my opinion. Like this 
formula is very similar to the Kathleen D lasting lip, liquid lipsticks, I think that's what you call them. I would say though, the lip liner is actually lighter than the actual liquid lipstick. And also guys, I got this PS Instagirl Lip Plump Lip Gloss. This was 2 50 so let's see what this is like. Even though I've got like a really mad fine lip on right now, let's see what this is like. And I feel like this is going to ruin this whole product because it's going to make it like go brown. Oh, it's actually not even transferred. This gloss is so glossy and that liquid lipstick isn't even transferring onto this applicator. I'm obsessed with this gloss. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I am so impressed. It was sort of until I did the bronzer, I realized I had this like little patch. Like I love the highlighter. I really like the foundation. Primer products were good. Everything worked perfectly. The only thing that I'm really not liking, and I think it's because I'm so used to my own lashes being like so good. These lashes, like they aren't sticking. The glue is like pathetic. It's probably hanging off right now. But apart from that, everything was pretty decent. Like everything worked perfectly and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I would go back to using these products. Like I am going to continue using these products. Maybe so not much the eyeshadows apart from these two ones here. I didn't end up using this one, but I know it's not going to be that great because this one is so hard to blend. But the little pan eyeshadows worked amazing. So if you guys want me to do any other videos like testing makeup, definitely let me know in the comments below. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. See ya.